Hey guys, um, so this is my review on the L'Oreal pa Paris Lash Boosting Serum. Um, I wanted to do this review because I know that everybody has kind of jumped on that lashes bandwagon since Cindy Crawford came out with her Latisse and I know there are a lot of things on the market. I even saw something at Bed Bath & Beyond um, for growing thicker, longer lashes and this was only like a... $12.99, so I thought, okay, may as well jump on the bandwagon with everybody else and give it a shot. And um, so here's what I think about it. All in all, it's pretty good. Now, does it grow lashes and make your lashes really long? No, it doesn't. Um, this is a drugstore product, and I got a little bit more than I expected because I expected nothing. So, first, um, let me start with showing you the package. Here's the package. And here's what came in it. And now I'm going to read to you what it says. Uh, Lori L. introduces new concentrated lash boosting serum. Our first ever eyelash serum with revolutionary pro-carotene complex technology to boost natural lash health with daily use. With continued use, lash health improves and lashes appear fortified, nourished, and strengthened. To use, apply at night to bare lashes or during the day under your mascara. Start with a clean, dry eye area using the curve of the soft touch applicator. Sweep serum onto lashes from root to tip like a mascara. Next, glide the applicator tip along the upper lash line like an eyeliner. Allow serum to dry before applying your mascara. Okay, so there was another one that had like a mascara along with it that also had the serum in it, but it says right on there to put it on before your mascara. So I was like, okay, so if I'm going to put it on, then why would I pay? I think that it was like $24.99 for the both of them. And I mean, that's the same price as getting like a whole mascara of your choice. So I was like, there's no real benefit to it. So I just got this one. So here's what the applicator looks like. So um, a few of the reviews that I had seen before said that they didn't know like how to exactly put it on. I don't know if their packaging was different or whatever, but mine actually came with pictures. So there you go. Now being the rebel that I am, I do not use it like the pictures say to do because all the product gathers right on the back. There's like a little groove there and it all gathers right there. So if you're trying to like do it like this, you're not gonna get any product on there. So what I do is do it like this, like you do with any curved mascara and just kind of start at the bottom and go up. And then I also turn it over and do it this way. And then um, that's how I do it. And I get, you know, a good amount of product on there. It's not really goopy, but you know, a good amount of product. And um, for those of you that are wondering, it is ophthalmologist and allergy tested, suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wears, and it says not intended for use on the lower lash line. Well, being the rebel that I am, uh, I do use it on my bottom lash line. And I'll tell you, that's where I have seen the most difference. I really, okay, I don't know if it's just me thinking, oh yeah, look, they're growing. But I do think that my bottom lashes did grow a little bit. My top lashes, no. But I do think that my bottom lashes grew just a tiny bit. You know, I didn't expect anything, so I didn't take pictures. But I kind of wish that I had taken pictures now so that I would know for sure. And I'm not just crazy imagining things. But um, the reason I think it says not intended for use on the lower lash line is a lot of things like this... Um, have something in them that enhances circulation. So if you're gonna, if you do get it like down here and it's something that enhances circ circulation, what it's gonna do is send blood to the teeny tiny blood vessels in, underneath your eyes. And as we all know, the skin under eyes is very thin and that's where those dark circles come from. 
So when you have dark circles, it's kind of an indication you have good circulation, I guess. But I think that's why they say not to, you know, um, use this under your eye. But if you be very careful and just get it on your lashes and not underneath your eye, I don't think you'll have a problem. I haven't had any problem with that at all. But um, what do I think about it? My eyelashes did look better after, you know, a while of using it. And I was very diligent every morning, every night. Um, so they did look like kind of shiny and conditioned without mascara, which was kind of cool. And the other thing that was an added bonus is usually my eyelashes are a little bit hard to curl and they were a little bit easier. Um, do I think this compares at all to any of the higher end products? No. Uh, if you have very short lashes and you want to grow very long lashes, this is not going to do it for you. But um, the main reason I wanted to try it is because, um, okay, I feel the need to wear waterproof mascara. I have allergies, my eyes water a lot, and so if I don't wear waterproof mascara, it ends up all the way down my face. So waterproof mascara is really hard to get off. At night, whenever I was taking off my mascara, I was noticing I would at least lose an eyelash or two per eye. And I started to like freak out about it. I was like, oh my God, all my eyelashes are falling out. So I, you know, did the mad rush and ran to the store and, you know, seen all the commercials. And I was like, okay, gotta have it. I will tell you that I do see a lot less fallout as far as my eyelashes go. Um, therefore, they do appear a little thicker because if you're losing less eyelashes and Obviously, there are more to be thicker, right? So, it kind of does what it says, but it's just like a preventative thing. Um, I will say, as opposed to losing an eyelash or two a night, I have only lost maybe an eyelash or two, an eyelash or two per week. So, that's a big difference. That's like the difference in, let's see, like 10 lashes or so. So, yeah, I think it's really worth 13 bucks. Um... I probably will continue to use it and I probably will rebuy it. So if you're looking for something just to help your lashes look better and be more nourished and um, you know maybe not fall out as much, this is great. For 13 bucks, I don't think you can beat it. So that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it, hopefully it was helpful. Don't forget to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks!